All right. First of all, I want to give Monmouth a lot of credit. I um, thought they were terrific. I thought they had a great game plan. They really defended. They had a lot of energy. They were scrappy, and um, they never quit. Uh, they got down 14. They kept fighting. They got down 10 in the you know, second half, and they just kept fighting. Little point guard's great, and uh, had a rim protector, blocked a lot of shots, and uh, they were good, so give them some credit. Um, I was proud of our guys. I, I think, obviously, we were out of sync offensively, uh, but we guarded. And uh, we were really, really good defensively in the first half uh, until right before half. Um, they hit a couple threes. Uh, and then we were pretty good the second half. We just gave up a few too many second chance uh, points and rebounds. So, um, but we were just a little bit out of rhythm, um, just trying to get used to not having Dez and then bringing Evan back too. So there was a double whammy uh, out there for us. Uh, Evan hasn't really practiced a lot. Um, and so, it's going to take us a little time to, to figure that out. But um, in the end, we won the game. That's really what matters. And I told the team at halftime, I said, guys, you know, just because we win a tournament and beat a pretty good team doesn't mean we're going to beat everybody by 40. And you just don't do that in college basketball. Some nights are going to be harder than others. And you got to figure out how to win the game. And, and we did it. And obviously, Melo was terrific. And I keep telling you guys, he's a winner. He came and got the ball. Got the ball every time they scored so he could get fouled and make the free throws. And that's what winners do. So. It's a good win, and we'll move on. <clears throat> Mark, you talked about, you talked about their energy. Did you feel that you guys were missing Desmond's energy and sort of his, you know, his uh, way he inspired the guys, like, inspired the crowd? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I think we were going to be a little flat regardless. You know, I put my head on the pillow at 5 a.m. coming home from Kansas City, and we, you know, went through some things and just trying to get ourselves back. Um, uh, I, I knew we were going to be a little bit different animal tonight. I, I thought we'd play out of it, um, but we never did. Never just quite found the right combination. Uh, do we miss his energy? Do we miss? Yeah, we do. We did a lot through him. So it's up to me to figure out how to play a little bit better offensively. You know, we went through Mello tonight, but we're going to need Evan as he gets better, Jake, different guys. Guys got to play a little bit better. Um, but. Uh, I just got to um, figure that out. So uh, we, we got good players. We got good pieces. Uh, maybe missed his toughness more than anything. Out there. Yeah. Uh, Coach, did you expect I didn't expect to play him that much, no. And then, of course, when he's in there, there's no dead ball for like four minutes. And um, I didn't want to call timeout. And we weren't very good during that stretch. Um, and in the end, he, he felt fine. I thought he was OK. Um, I thought he was better on the defensive end than he was on the offensive end uh, tonight. And he led us in rebounding uh, tonight. So he's going to help that uh, with us. He's definitely not himself. Um, it'll be a while before he's himself. But I, I expect him to be a little bit better on Sunday uh, than he was today. And, and, um, but he helped us. He, he helped us, especially on the defensive end. Or uh, going back to just it, kind of expecting you would be flat, but how difficult was today with Dez's surgery and with having expectations with Evan coming back yeah. and um, day after Thanksgiving, all of that? Yeah. Was it draining? Oh, yeah, co coaching's draining. But um, I was nervous. I told King, King's a buddy of mine. I said, because how you feel? I said, I'm nervous tonight. And because uh, I think he won, he has a really good team. And um, that, that same team had West Virginia down 16 with eight minutes to go at West Virginia. So we controlled most of the game, which I was pleased with. But it was hard. You know, we huddle up, and Des always, hey, huddle everybody in. Well, Des always takes over there. Well, first two or three huddles, no one say anything. Because <laughs> it's always been Des. So that was new. It was just everything was just a little bit different uh, for us tonight. And. Um, it's life, you know. You just you get through it and get some rest tonight. You wake up tomorrow and you try to get better. Next question. Uh, in terms of Noah, um, being able to still have that calm, uh, collective way about him in a situation where you know a freshman might maybe think too much about what this game would mean for him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, he's the winner. I just keep saying he, he figures it out. He, he knew we had to win. He knew he had to have the ball in his hands. He knew he had to be at the foul line, so he went and got the ball every time. And uh, that's what winners do. And um, I was surprised he missed one. I think, you know, he's, he's that good. And um, I thought he was really good defensively, too. That, that little kid's hard to guard. He's fast, shifty. And I thought Melo did a nice job on him. I thought Rashad did a nice job on him. So um, Melo's a winner. And uh, we got to help him a little bit more um, offensively and get a little bit better rhythm going. And I'm sure we will uh, soon, quicker, sooner than later. Uh, John Graham and Evan will do do it uh, for us, and uh, but I think I think you're going to see uh, uh, Des around a lot, so he'll still do it. He did it in the second half, so he was around a lot, so he'll he'll be he'll be right there in the middle of practice and everything. So, uh, <clears throat> but you know, I was really proud of my guys. I thought they, they I thought they battled and did what they had to do to get the win. Thank you. Very Thanks, guys. Much.